How's it going by? Welcome to Kingdom Come Deliverance with me, Noble. Now, I went ahead and read some books and uh, passed some time here in my room while uh, we went ahead and got the time to extend for the nighttime operation we're supposed to do. So, let's go ahead and uh, it's like 2130 or something like that. So, I'm hoping it's late enough for them to go ahead and start the meeting at the church. We'll find out soon, though. Worst case scenario, I'll have to sit around and pass the time again. But I figured if we're going to go ahead and do anything, we might as well start recording it. The rest of the time was basically just kind of filler, and I was like, I'm not going to record with filler. So, how's everybody doing? hope you're doing fine. I'm doing great. Alright, so, we're supposed to meet at the church. I don't see any lights on right now, but that doesn't mean the other side is lit up. Hi. Kind of startled me with that lantern there. I'm like, um, what? <laughs> you know? Matter of fact, I think I see a light on on the hill over there. Things are looking at least like there's a lantern on out here. Or a torch. Not sure if this is supposed to be the indicator or if it's supposed to be inside. I can use it, but uh, not what I'm here for. Hmm. So I'm gonna activate this guy. Pay indulgence. Oof. Yeah, I don't think we'll be doing that. I stole that money fair and square. <laughs> Kidding, of course. So let's pass some time. We'll go to 2200. Or we're at 22. I'll make it move a little bit further. See if anything happens at 22. If not, we'll move to 2300. Amazing how much loading has to do for just, you know, an extra two minutes or five minutes or something. Hmm. Nobody's here yet. Let me make sure I'm at the right place, because that would suck if I was in the wrong place. You know, maybe it's not inside. Maybe it's behind the church. I didn't even think about that before. I thought, well, maybe they're meeting inside, but maybe they're meeting in the graveyard around the side. Nobody had any corners? No? Okay. Let me try this door. Oh, hi, horse. Ignore me. Never been up here before, so this is going to be new. Ooh. I like this. Well, um, everybody ignore me. Taking the alcohol, so it wasn't gonna be as easy as normal. I, I usually get boozed up to do it. She will take the uh, cobweb too. All right. Well, that didn't help. Time to pass some more time. Let's get a look over the side though. When we do it though, let's go to twenty three hundred. Eleven o'clock. Those. <laughs> Wondering. Should be in the 2300 section. Nobody and nothing. Seriously, they said meet at the church. I know they did. Anybody hiding in a corner or something? No? 
<sighs> Don't tell me I messed up and I showed up at the wrong time. That's gonna suck. We double check to make sure, yep, shows the church. It does show the back of the church, so I'll go back around the back side again just to make sure they're not standing back here. Nope, nobody's standing back here. Let's go for midnight then. The dogs are barking like crazy. Give it a little extra time. Okay, nobody hang out back here. Oh no, it's starting to rain. Nobody here. I do wonder if that was supposed to be an interval at one point in time. Oh, come on, game. Oops. I pressed something. I don't know what I pressed. Can it be my name? Will ah. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. Well, I was just running around clicking and I accidentally clicked and hello. So. You've been looking for us, eh? What is it you want? Arrow to the face! Arrow to the face! Arrow to the face! <laughs> it probably needed me to do that to begin with, and I didn't realize I was supposed to click it. Who don't mind getting their hands dirty. Is that so? It's not what we well, heard. Where did you hear that? Taverns and the like. People talk. Well, that's a pretty tale. But no one in any tavern told you to come here and wait, did they? So let's have it. Who told you? I don't recall his name, but he was one of your friends. He said that he couldn't take me straight to you, that I had to go through the church. He was right about that. But he still said more than he should have. <laughs> I know my way around. You won't go wrong with me. Spare I'm wearing dirty night nice armor. I've got a test ready for you. Let's see how you handle it before you tell us how wonderful you are. Do I need to kill what a couple of your friends? I hope I get to kill a couple of those friends. Nothing complicated. We used to take anyone who looked like they could keep their head on straight. But not now. Now you can only join if you do what we tell you. Which is what? Steal something? Nah, not theft. If you want to join us, Murder. you have to kill fires. Who's pious? And why should I kill him? That's none of your business. But I'll tell you anyway, because it's an instructive tale. <laughs> pious was one of us, but he fucked up. How? Did he steal something? Yeah, that was part of it. Stole some money. <laughs> He's always talking about away. stealing. A few boys died over it. Showed a distinct lack of loyalty. And as soon as he's dead, you can join us. I'll have to find him first. <laughs> you don't need to find him. We know where he is. Then why haven't you killed him yourselves? It's quite a test. He's hiding in a monastery. With the stable. That's easy. It's not hard to get into the grounds. <laughs> no, not there. I would have been dead long since. He's in the, uh, cloister, or whatever it is. But only monks can get in there. <laughs> Just monks and pious. He's an educated bastard. Seems he used to be a priest, but it didn't quite work out. I wonder why. Stealing and killing. What could go wrong? I've been inside that cloister so many times, stealing... I haven't found all the missing pages yet, so it'll give me another chance to look around, I guess. And how am I supposed to get into the cloister? Probably tell me going through the basement. But you'll think of something. No. Maybe there's a secret passage. I've heard there's some cave underneath. The cave of St. Procopius. There might be a way into it from outside. 
And do you have any other ideas besides secret passages? Well, there is this one fellow been hanging around the taverns. Supposed to join the monastery soon. Might be he could help you somehow. I'd try talking to him if I were you. Nah, I can get there easy. And if he doesn't help, knock him on his ass and take anything he's got that you could use to pass yourself off as him. A letter of admittance to the monastery, or whatever. And do you have any other tests? We're not hiring stable boys. We want men who are prepared to do anything. And this is the toughest task we've got. So how many men have you already sent? And just a handful. And what happened to them? Did they hang? Ah, just the first one. The others turned tail. Guess they didn't have the stomach for it. <laughs> Clearly you don't have the stomach for it, otherwise you'd have taken care of it. How would I recognize Pius? He won't have been there long. He should be the only new one there. But what if there are others? What does he look like? Normal. He always went about well dressed and had a fine looking dagger. Yes, except he'll be given a robe and they'll take his knife. Then you'll have to try and figure out which one of the novices it is and get him to betray himself. Try getting him drunk. Then send him straight to hell. Get him drunk? In a monastery? <laughs> Where better? There's more wine there than in the royal cellars. And I doubt he suddenly stopped drinking. Fine. So I've got to kill Pius. He's in the cloister, and to get into the cloister, I'll need to enlist the help of some boy who's joining the order, right? More or less. Or I'll sneak now in and just try to find a guy who stands out and assassinate him, him in the sleep. <laughs> of course. But that's not all. All hell's gonna break loose in the monastery after the murder. So, either make sure nobody finds him, or hightail it out of there quick as soon as the job's done. But better if they don't find him right away. And what else? Should I come back here afterwards? No, no. Before you run for it, take his special dice and bring it as proof that you killed him. You're and right. if you can get him to tell you where he hid the coin, bring that as well. Bring his dice and the money if I find him. And where should I bring it? From the I don't think I'll be getting the money if I murder him like I'm planning on it. There'll be a swamp it. where you'll find a fire pit. Go there at night and light a fire. Make it nice and big and we'll show up. Take the dice and the money, and then tell you where to report. Got it? Right, I'm to slip into the best guarded place in the entire region and kill someone. Take his dice and money, and then go to the swamp and wait by the fire. Yeah, that's the idea. Whew. Well, you can at least say a few Hail Marys for me. I'm gonna need all the help I can get. <laughs> and remember, we'll be keeping tabs. So don't you try to run off, alright? Goodbye. But if I run off, maybe they'll come and find me, and then I can find them. <laughs> nah. Is the back of your shirt bloody, dude? Seemed like it. I guess I shouldn't unlock that door upstairs, because it made it a little easier for them to get to me. I guess that's them locking me in, so they I can't chase after them or something. Uh, let you know I'm recording this extra early, so, uh, you know. do a dry run before we actually try and get in there. And in order to do the dry run, I'm going to need to do a couple things first. Because I want to see if we can find him while he's sleeping. Oops, sorry. Totally ran you over, didn't mean to. Yeah, I should have tried harder. Murder is such a tough thing sometimes. Yeah, I totally made the wrong turn. I was looking, I was like, something ain't right here. And that's the bathhouse, so I know I made the wrong turn. Uh, but yeah. 
I need to get the monastery people moving towards the uh, their sleeping quarters. There is a basement bedroom in the jail cell. I'm going to go in there and take a nap in order to save. And hopefully progress time enough that these guys will all be in bed and I can move around freely in the monastery. It's going to be a bit of a challenge, but I can do it. Pretty much I've yeah. done it before. The difference is the fact that it's actually a lot later than it should be. Ah. Well, I crashed. Broke my legs too. I, think I got folded in half there. Come on, horse, weave, weave. No such thing as drunk driving for horses. Monastery back entrance. It's kind of funny because this does apparently attach to that toilet we saw out back inside the monastery before. This door is not normally shut, so I think they shut it because of the fact it's, you know, this part of the story. I'm guessing if I get him drunk, I have to bring him down here, I bet. Sleep and save. Those guys are probably all just moving about now. I just want to see if I can find him. I don't know what he looks like. I don't know if he's going to be labeled. Don't know if he'll have the money on him. But I don't have much time. So the first thing I need to do is trade out this gear. Uh... Because this armor is really loud. No, I need that. <laughs> of course I need my pants. I don't know what you're talking about. You gotta love watching those uh, sounds drop. Yep, and zero. <clears throat> I make no noise because I'm real quiet. Hopefully everybody's in bed, not still going to their place. I wouldn't know. There's only two places I know these guys sleep, and I don't know which place this guy in particular is going to be at. Novice Lucas, Monk, Siskin, Monk, Monk, Brother Navias, Monk, let's see, Monk, what was this guy's name again? I've already forgotten it. Man, why aren't you telling me what the guy's name actually is? That's actually a really uh, crappy move game. I gotta hope I find it on accident now. Antonius doesn't sound right. Oh crap, somebody's awake. I remember someone said that there was a monk who couldn't sleep at night. So I'm guessing that's him. See one downstairs. I 
Are they all waking up? Oh, crap. What time is it? Oh, it's almost four. Maybe it's the kitchen crew getting ready for the morning. This didn't work as well as I had hoped. Hopefully that means the novices are still here and it's just the cooks. This feels like it might be the right name. I don't know what search radiator is. Well, we did save, so I may just stab one of them just to see. I don't remember his name, but I think this name is pretty close. Pius, that was the name. I did it! I did it! Yeah! Talk about a stab in the dark. Wow. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That... See, I don't have his gear. Yeah, I'm probably going to do the game the way you're supposed to do it, but that was great. Yeah, I'm waking everybody up with the noise I'm making. <laughs> oh, that was great. Yep, just, you know, whistle for the horse while I'm in here, while I'm at it. Why not? Who needs stealth? So let's get a good look at this face so we know who we're dealing with later. Yep, that's a face, all right. All right, time to load it back up and uh, take care of this correctly. Whew. <laughs> oh. Hmm. I gotta say that that was crazy. I, I didn't expect. Oh, it's saved here. Y'all didn't y'all didn't hear that, did you? Okay. So now I gotta figure out where the kit's kept. Probably in this chest. No, it's not a chest. Just to see if the die is in here. Nope. You guys still asleep? Good. There's another one over here. Probably gonna wake these guys up. The guy's already dead, so this is the wrong save anyway. So I'm not super upset about this. Just having a little fun. Playing stealthy McStealth face here. Is that really a chest? I'm definitely not going to get to that one. I just want to see where he's keeping that playing die because he definitely didn't have it on him. Well, hey, buddy. Um, hi. 
<laughs> Let's go to the correct save this time. The one that didn't involve me being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Who, man. <laughs> I gotta say, that was pretty fun. I, I like that. Well, no need for us to be in here. We found the right guy, but we didn't find the loot we needed. So, we'll make a different plan and uh, go for the correct way. Mind you, that literal stab in the dark was perfect. I couldn't have planned that better. It's like, I'm just going to start, you know, my idea was I'm just going to start stabbing the new guys until I hit the right one. Just to see how long it took me to find them. First freaking murder and I had the right guy, apparently. One of the reasons I chose him was because his name just looked weird. And I was like, eh. And not weird as in weird weird, but weird as in like someone made up a name. Kind of weird. Like, what was it, Joe Homfinson or something like that? I was kind of like, the rest of these names sound like Bob's and Tom's kind of thing. It's like, eh, it's a normal name. But that name just stood out. I was like, screw it. We're just going to go for it. And I completely went the wrong way, didn't I? Yeah, I did. So busy, you know, not paying attention. <laughs> so it's like, I, I definitely would have passed a shrine uh, that I've been past a lot of times, but not one I haven't been past. Yeah. Well, we'll take a shortcut through the barn. Hey guys, how's it going? Man, all right, so. Yeah, it's nice to you too, okay. So we will take it to the next level and in the next episode we will go and attempt to uh, infiltrate the correct way into the uh, location. Yeah, go for it. Full scale. Get six o'clock. Anyway, so thank you everybody for stopping by and joining. If you like, hit that like, subscribe, feature content, feel like it, drop comp below, do false opinions, this and other things. And if you feel like it, you know, hit that bell icon for future notifications. Until next time, stay safe out there, everybody. I'll see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.